Our point moves along a circular path with velocity as a t. We need to find the total acceleration when it's covered nth fraction of the circle. So let's say in nth portion of the circle it covers an angle theta. And of course this distance becomes arc length that is r theta. So we need to find total acceleration so that will be the normal acceleration as well as tangential acceleration. So normal acceleration will get by v square by r and tangential acceleration will get by differentiating this. So let's do that differentiating this we get a t is equal to a which is a constant. So if acceleration is constant we can write equation of motion. So we can say that path length r theta is half a t square and theta is n times 2 pi. So nth fraction of a circle which means theta is nth fraction of whole angle that is 2 pi. So theta is n into 2 pi. So we put that and from here we get time is equal to this much. So why we are finding time? So we have got a t already. And to find a normal we need velocity because a normal is v square by r and velocity is in terms of time. So that's why we are calculating time. So now we can write the velocity at point P is a t is equal to this much. So a total is a n plus a t. So root of v square by r whole square plus a square. You put the values of v as this and get your answer.